Captoga Visual History today, we will talk about a very special topic. What is the difference between archaeology and building archaeology? Today, I will introduce to you Jonas Lengenfeld. Jonas is building archaeologist. And so, here goes my first question to Jonas. What exactly is building archaeology? It's um, a part of archaeology that's focused on man-made um, structures and buildings. Like, here's this uh, nice church. So, you say, if you watch an old building, you can recognize different building phases. The main method of the building archaeology, of course, is a measurement of the building itself. Because the building is the main source for building archaeology. But the main thing is the building which we have to, um, to measure and we have to feel and see what we can find. So as you already said, we are standing in an old church here. It is an Gothic church in the city of Bernau, which is in the northeast of Berlin. And to show you what building archaeology is about, we will now go outside and Jonas will show you at the wall of the church which phases you can recognize here. At first we have this wall to your left. Mm -hmm where we already saw this nice holes for the scaffolding. The lower part is made out of this granite stone. Here, right behind me, we have this typical Romanesque round arch, oh, yeah. which was later closed with this stonework. And we can perfectly see that it was a door and not just an arch, because we have here this nice little vertical rim going all the way down till the bottom, and the same on the other side, so it's definitely uh -huh. A closed door. That's the first womanist building phase I can see after this first walk around. Of course, mention walk around is not a proper way to do building archaeology, it's just a part of it. So now we are at the different spot of the church and we want to talk a bit about the second building phase here. The Gothic building style is the main style of uh, the 13th the 14th and 15th century in the Middle Ages. In some parts of Germany it even stretches all the way to the early 16th century. We are right in front of a piece of rather late Gothic architecture. Right behind us we have these typical features like this big um, pointed arch windows with a stained glass inside and also down here we come down all the way from the ceiling to this window. It's a very flat arch and this is also late Gothic German architecture. So what can you tell us about the bricks? In this time the bricks um, format varied a bit from region to region and it's called uh, mainly cloister format, also um, monastery um, size in Germany. But you can still see also the color changes a bit. So the process of burning wasn't quite that um, controllable like in later times, like let's say in the 19th and 18th century. So Jonas, now we are at again another spot around the church here. And you can see that, the, that it looks Gothic, but it's not. It's uh, neo-Gothic. So in the 19th century it became an, a style it was in to copy Gothic style or Romanesque style. Yes. It's, um, when it's made good, it's hard to say which is which. Is it original or is it neo-Gothic, etc. But you can see here the bricks are have very slight differences in, in the color. They are very similar to each other. That uh, shows a very good industrial burning process, contrary to the more colorful bricks we see on the original Gothic surface. Plus, um, we have these little stems in the head of the brick, which tell us where they were made. And also, um, the top of it is uh, typical for 19th century neo-Gothic churches. So we can see pretty clearly that we have here a neo-Gothic tower built on the place of the former, maybe a little smaller but much more massive Romanesque Westwerk. Yes. 
from the size of the bricks you can see that this is 19th century because it's so-called Reichsformat. Yes, the Reichsformat was first standardized size for bricks uh, in yeah. the former German Reich, so after 18th... Reich means like empire, so German empire size. But in the 19th century is a time when every nation um, starts, every little nation in Germany starts to build their own little rules about building. Yes. And we have lots of books from this time still surviving, telling yeah. us how they build. So, the Westwerk here is the last building phase. Jonas, thank you very much. It was very, very interesting. You have to go back now to Regensburg. Yes, indeed. I have to write my dissertation in Regensburg. In Regensburg, you said, is the only place in Germany you can study uh, building archaeology? It's uh, the best place. Regensburg is one of the best preserved cities in Germany. And we have a town history stretching from the Romans with a continuous line till today, which of course is the best reason to study at in the OTH Regensburg and have a good time. So if you want to study construction archaeology in Germany, go to Regensburg and meet Jonas. If you like this video about construction archaeology, then please Give us a like and please subscribe us for more interesting, nice videos about history, archaeology and all that's connected with this.